On this Zip Forms episode, we're going to discuss the disclosures you need for your listing. So congrats, you got the listing, got it signed, you've got it in escrow, and now you need to do the disclosures that you're going to give to the buyer. So how do you do that? You need to use Zip Forms to select the forms, plus a couple extra forms, and then you're going to have them filled out. On another episode, we're going to show you how to fill those disclosures out with your client and also how to fill out an Avid. But for now, we need to get those forms. And where do we get them? From Zip Forms. So we're going to go to car.org. We're going to go through selecting our username and password. We're going to get to Zip Forms and then we're here. We're going to pick up where we left off last time. We listed a property at 12259 Caladre. We had our homeowners. We put their information in, we got a listing, we got it signed, and now we're ready to do the next step, the disclosures. It's a good idea, and I should say, you should be doing your disclosures when you get the listing. Personally, I wait until I get an offer, because then it's closer to the time of the sale, because things could change. It is a good habit, though, to take, when you take the listing, also do the disclosures. So. I'm going to go to that same Zip Forms transaction called 12259 Caladre. I select it and now I have a list of forms that I need to select and put into that file. Ooh, what are they? So I happen to have a cheat sheet with me and you too can get the cheat sheet. Here it is for you on the screen now. As you can see you have the earthquake, the lead based paint, the TDS, the AVID, the SBSA, the SPQ, the MCA, the AS, which is the FERPTA, the addendum to the SBSA. So let's select them. You're going to go to all forms on the right. And you're just going to select one by one. Here we go. The first one is the earthquake, which I should stop now and show you. This is the earthquake. This one you won't find in zip forms. Also, the second form, the addendum to the SBSA. That's the form that your buyer will need to initial any type of inspection they did and then sign. But for now, we're not going to find that in zip form. Pass on that. The next one after earthquake is the lead based paint. Don't ask me why it's called FLD, but it is. So we got that, we select that. We select the transfer disclosure known as TDS, don't check off the manufacturer one, pick the real estate transfer disclosure statement. Then we, get, we need to put in our agent visual inspection disclosure called the AVID, just like that. Then the SBSA, which is a 14 pager, just filled with fun filled information for, for both sides. Your client just needs to sign the last page, by the way. The next one is the SPQ. The seller property questionnaire. After that, we've got the MCA, which is the market condition advisory. The next form is seller's affidavit or the FERPTA. It's a toughie to find. I'm not going to be. I'm not going to lie to you. It's tough to find. The easiest way for me is to put in affidavit, and you can see you have it there. Click on that one. Now, in this particular case, there happens to be two sellers. So because there's two sellers, you need two seller's affidavits. One for seller one and one for seller two. So that's all the forms you need. We're going to check it out through each form. As you can see, they're all here. I'm going to go one by one just to show you a few of them. Okay. In fact, I'm going to just look at this seller's affidavit. So again, remember I said with seller's affidavit, if you have two sellers, you need two seller's affidavits. I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. They will have to, when they DocuSign it, ZipLogic or dot loop it, or if you're doing it in, in person, you'll need to write in their name here. They'll check off whether they're an individual or corporation. And instead of and instead of putting their social security number, we recommend to just write on file. They will sign and date it, 
put their name and their title as the owner. And then that's a form that will be also signed by the buyer. Once again, the forms that you'll need will be the earthquake, the addendum to the SPSA, which are two forms that are not in the zip forms, along with the lead base paint, the real estate transfer disclosure, the agent visual inspection, the statewide buyer and seller advisory, the seller property questionnaire, the market conditions advisory, and as many sellers affidavits as you need. This concludes the episode on disclosures. Go ahead and take a look at the other video on how to fill them out with your seller at another time. Thanks for watching.